Good morning. I'm going to go over the work review for today. So if you want to get out your bar graph activity or check it over if it's one of the activity activities that you have already done, that is perfectly fine as well. I hope everyone has a great day. Um, and if you have questions, always message me and I will message you back as quickly as I can. So today's activity is working with some bar graphs and you're going to use the information here in the chart and we're going to create a bar graph with the data that we have and then we're going to answer some questions down below. So, get straight. down here it already has our graph is labeled with the number of bugs collected so this is where we're going to look at the like ladybug has six were collected so we're going to graph it here and they've already got it labeled with the types of bugs down here so um, they've laid it out pretty easy for us to label so the first one we said was ladybug and it has six so you're going to go over here and you're going to go up to six and you could make it as wide as they have this line here um, and you can really color it with any color if you want, or if you just want to use a pencil, you can do that as well. So I'm just going to do a short little line here in the middle because that's going to be easier for me with this marker. So you're going to go all the way up to the six because that's where ladybug is. The next one is butterfly, and that one goes all the way up to the ten. So we're going to do it above the butterfly because um, we want to make sure that our data in our graph matches what is in our chart over here. So butterfly, I'm going to go all the way up to the 10. Dragonfly, had three. One, two, three. And I can see that that matches. If I drop, come across the line, I'll write it that is three. Beetle has seven. I'm going to go up to seven and stuff. So there I have my graph. So I can visually see um, who has the most and the least. Um, and now I'm going to go down and answer some of the questions. So number one says, which type of bug was collected the most? So when we look at our graph, which one of these has the most? Which one has goes taller, the most amount collected? We look and that's the butterfly. And we remember that went to the 10. So here you're going to put butterfly. Number two. How many more beetles would need to be collected to reach 20? Okay, so this is a tricky question because if you look, our chart only goes to 10. And we have to figure out how many more of these beetles need to be collected to get us up to 20. Um, so there's a few ways that you could do this. Um, the easiest that I would think is if we looked at, we know to get from 10, and I'm just drawing on here so you can see me, from 10 up to, say, 20 would be 10 more. Because if we count by 10, 10, 20, that's 10 more. So we would add, we know for sure we need 10 more, but then I still need to get to this 10 here. So I would need 10 plus these three right here. So 10, 11, 12, 13. I would need 13 more beetles to get all the way up to 20 if my graph went up to 20. I would have to collect 13 more beetles. Another way that you could do that is you could do some, some subtraction and you could subtract um, 20, which is the what we want to get to, and take away the 7 to see how many you have left. And that would come out to 13 and that would show you that that's how many more we need to collect. Okay. The next question, number 3, says how many more butterflies were collected than dragonflies. Okay, so for this one, we have to compare two different of the bugs. We need to compare the butterfly and the dragonfly. Okay, so they want to know how many more 
of the butterflies there are than of the dragonflies. So how many more of them are there? So if we look at our chart, again, there's a couple of ways that we can look at this. Um, and the easiest would be if you look here, we know there's three dragonflies. And so we want to know how many more. So if I had my three dragonflies here and my three butterflies here, there's more butterflies than there are dragonflies. So you could just draw a line and see that there's three here and how many more butterflies are there. You just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or you could take your 10 butterflies and subtract your three dragonflies and then 10 minus the three would equal seven. How many bugs were collected in all? So they're asking us, they want to know how many bugs were collected all together. So how many bugs all together? Here? So we have to add or count up how many there are all together. And these are our numbers. And then here's our, um, our graph. So well, the easiest way, way would be is to count up all of your bugs here using your graph because um, that's going to make it the easiest for you to go up here and count with your numbers and create an addition sentence as well. So the easiest way for me is I would take the largest number, which is 10, that we have here, and I'm going to put that number in my head. I'm not going to count this out because that's 10. So I'm going to say 10, and then I'm going to count all of these, add all of these to it. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So there are 26 bugs in all. And if you wanted to add them up, um, you could do that. You could draw them out um, and you could do it in a tens and ones chart like we've used before in class. And you would just represent all of these numbers here, over here. So I would add my 10 for my butterfly, six ladybugs, one, two, three, four, five, six. Add your three dragonflies. And you can add them on here, but I find it easier just so that I don't get confused. I always add them separately. So one, two, three, and then your seven beetles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we know that whenever we have a group of 10, we group them together and we carry it over here. So I'm going to count and create a group of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So all of these makes a 10, and I would carry them over here to my 10s place, and then count what I have left. I don't have enough left, so then I can check and count what I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the 1s place, and 1, 2, 10, so 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So either way would be fine. You could draw them out this way, or you could go in and count your, um, where you actually covered on your graph. All right, good job, and if you have questions, let me know.